Hello, James here, and there's a lot of talk on the internet about hashtag RapidGate, where the 40 kilowatt hour leaf can't take um, long journeys. So basically, people were doing between 450 to 650 miles, and they had to do three to four or more rapid charges uh, in succession, and basically the car would the charge would slow down so the Chad remote instead of pulling roughly about 44 kilowatts it was only pulling around about 22 kilowatts so I was making my next video and I was wondering what happens if you travel 125 miles and do four Chad remote charges uh, with the help of Leaf Spy so I wanted to find out if it's to do with the number of charges or down to the temperature of the battery. As you can see, I'm rocking my leaf hat again. Uh, I'm in no way affiliated with Nissan, um, so I'm not here to cover up for them or make up fake footages. I'm just basically here to give my impartial views on what's been happening with the state of the battery. But thanks for the beanie. Right, okay, so my journey starts from Edinburgh to Newcastle. There was four scale winds and basically the battery was getting a uh, hammering. Uh, but we'll find you'll find all that out in a later episode that I'll, I'll bring out in the near future. So I started the journey with about 68% battery. Uh, the outside temperature was 2 to 4 degrees and the first stop was Berwick upon Tweed which is roughly 65 miles away from Edinburgh and the battery went all the way down to 7%. I had to wait there about 15 to 20 minutes because there was a 30 kilowatt hour leaf there charging. The gentleman finished charging and basically I started charging the car up. I didn't intend to make this video to start with, but here's what happened. Right, so let's uh, have a look at how the car's doing. So we are currently at 44 kilowatts we're pulling here so speed's not an issue for the charge point so it's not like it's knackered in that sense um, the battery temperature is up to 39 degrees and if we come down here so basically just over the battery icon now equals 39 degrees so I got home to Newcastle and I had this nagging feeling about the battery and what people were talking about on the internet, the hashtag rapid git, which hopefully isn't a thing. I love my leaf, it does everything that I need it to do, it gets me uh, the 125 miles is what I need it for and it, get, it does that trip no problem, but I just wanted to find out what happened on a second rapid charge. Previously, I wasn't really keeping an eye on it. I just put it on and leave it and let it charge up. I wasn't really paying any attention until um, everything kicked off on uh, social media and on the internet. So for the second charge, I knew the battery was low and the uh, temperature of the car was about 42 degrees. So... I wanted to check on Leaf Spy to see what happens on a second rapid charge and this is what happened. Okay, so the battery temperature maximum is 42.7 so I think it's gone up a little bit from before. We're charging at 27 kilowatts and basically in 6 minutes we will be at 25%. Um, it's not, it's not good news, I suppose. So I've lost the leaf hat and the gloves because <laughs> it's just getting hot and sweaty. Uh, I ran some errands before the third Chadmo charge, which was about 30 to 40 minutes. I was driving at 30 miles an hour city eco and 50 on the dual carriageway. I just wanted to see if I could cool the battery down, um, you know, just, just to see if it would cool down enough in the space of 30 to 40 minutes so if you were doing a long journey you would basically slow down for before you reach your charging point just to let the battery uh, cool down a bit with the the wind coming underneath the car um, 
So maybe it was wishful thinking, but this is what happened next. Currently, the battery is probably still around 41 degrees, so it's two degrees lower than before, or practically about the same. So I'm not expecting this test to be any different, so we should be expecting to pull 27 kilowatts again. Though I just wanted to come back to try again after my errands because I was thinking maybe it's to do with how many charges you do. So the first charge you get like a, a faster charge, second reduce it down to 27 uh, kilowatt hour battery uh, charge, sort of like um, speed. Uh, so we'll find out what we get this time with um, the third charge. Right, I'm just going to leave my phone here, turn this off, and grab my card. Open the hatch. I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, so we're currently charging. Let's boot the car up and see what it has to say. Oh, it's cold outside. Oh, the battery temperature just dropped. Did that just drop? Let's have a look. So it's 39.8 on the screen here. And, oh, not Android Play. Right, and let's have a look. Oh yeah, push up. Okay, so we're still charging at 28 kilowatts. Yeah, it's a little bit quicker than the 27 we were getting before. So it seems to be temperature driven, doesn't it? I suspect that's the case. Right, so that was only about five minutes of charging. And uh, so I basically saw that the charging wasn't, there wasn't that much difference in the charging speed with those sort of temperatures. So I decided to come back an hour later, uh, just because I just fancied doing it. I just want, I just needed to find out what what it was. Was it temperature driven or um, was it the number of charge? But I think we can tell from now that it's probably to do with the battery temperature. Uh, so an hour later I went back to the charge point and there was a leaf there charging so I waited another 30 minutes so all in all it was a 1 hour 30 minute wait uh, between charge and the car wasn't being driven so the battery had an hour and a half to actually cool down so I actually forgot my camera so I didn't actually make any documentations at this point apart from what you'd see in the video now so as you can see the battery temperature was 36 degrees at this point and the car was pulling 33 kilowatts so it looks like the number charge isn't really the factor it's the actual temperature of the battery so i've basically created this chart squeaky jet right i'll say you here so this chart here so from my tests, we can tell that at 43 degrees centigrade, the battery will only pull 27 kilowatts. Well, the car would only pull 27 kilowatts out of a Chadmo charger. Um, so if we, from the extrapolation, if people were saying they were only getting 22 kilowatts charging speed, then I would guess that they were the temperature of the battery was about 48 degrees centigrade. I could be completely wrong because I'm just plucking this off the top of my head from extrapolating the the, the, the four figures that we've got, but it gives a, a, a rough indication of what's happening to the car and the battery. Um, it's nothing to do with the charge point because that rapid charger the next day was pulling at full speed when I went back to it just after the battery cooled right down uh, I didn't really do any more filming at that point because I just uh, had things to do really yeah but um, the the Chadmo charger is absolutely fine where 
uh, it is because why would it be pulling 27 to 28 kilowatts at one point and the last charge it was pulling at 33 obviously if it was a broken uh, Chadwell charging point then it would constantly be pulling 27 or 28 wouldn't it mm, yeah well we'll go with that so I think we do have an issue with charging um, especially for long distance driving so if you were to do your first charge if you only needed to do say um, 200 to 250 possibly 300 miles it's absolutely fine you'd be able to do that journey with like one potentially a second top up charge um, so you could probably stop for half an hour top up the last part for the 300 mile journey but two, 250 seems a doable range if you charge your car up to start with drive 125 miles charge up and do your last 125 miles but if you were to do this with more than that amount of rapid charge then obviously the the scale between charging time and your the distance of your journey will basically creep up so your your, your overall time is going to be affected the longer your journey is um as far as the as far as what people have been experiencing so you know i still think the car's a great car it's got great technology and it's basically does everything that I need it to um, but the issue now previously I would take the family I would actually take the family down to the north of France we normally go on holiday with my our good friend the Lee Homers and their kids to the, the north of France for a summer holiday vacation and I would have happily driven the leaf down to the Channel Tunnel and basically go on holiday in France but from I really have to think twice now uh, about that which you know it's it's not it's not great but um, it's definitely could be an issue for people that need to do long distances all the time I mean I don't need to I could probably just borrow one of the um, the ice vehicles from Nissan because they've got that thing where you get X amount of days to have a car to use but that's not the point the point is if I wanted to drive 600 miles in my car I should be able to although I'd rather take a plane but again that's beside the point I think I'm going to finish ranting here and I'll let you guys decide on what you guys think if maybe it's the fault with the couple of cars the me and the other YouTubers are having or if it's an actual fault well I don't know if it's a fault but it's the actual um, software safety mechanism to stop the battery from uh, degrading too quickly or basically some sort of system that stops the the battery from frying itself uh, right I'm just making stuff up now as usual so I'm just gonna stop there and I'll let you guys decide so once again I like to say thank you for watching and if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button one last thing Nissan if you've made it this far good on you um, I'll tweet the video with your hashtags on it and let's get to the bottom of this. If you need any information, I'll be more than happy to help. Let's make us all proud that Europe is driving the best electric car built in the UK. Thank you.